So this is an insane case of European canker. You can kind of see how he got these concentric rings starting like a target. That's diagnostic of European canker. And it's just all the way up and down this tree. So hopefully they're not going to sell this one because I'm going to go tell them about it. But I mean, lots of these trees are being shipped in and they have this disease in them. So you've really got to look at your trees and make sure that you're not bringing home something that you don't want. That could just be mechanical damage from banding, but again, if you got any sort of damage on your tree, you don't want it. So this is how European canker starts anyway. What it does is it gets in the branch from elsewhere. Usually it's through pruning wounds or just a little ding in the bark somewhere. And those spores enter into the cambium layer. And what the tree tries to do is form a callus to surround the canker, but those the disease is just spreading so fast throughout the cambium that that that, that callus can't keep up with it. And eventually what it does is just girdles the entire branch. So even if you took this tree home, you know, you've got that little space of bark right there that's feeding everything up above that, all the way up into there. That's all that's feeding it is that little area. And by the end of this season, that would probably be cut off. So, look at it. It's even down here at the trunk. Right at the, right at the union. Right at the bud union. So that tree had it right off the bat.